Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Moo here. Uh, so some of you that follow my channel know that I do a lot of video reviews and sometimes I get asked about, hey Mike, um, you know these reviews of products, how do you get them? And uh, do you get them for free? Do you get a lot of free stuff to review? And uh, yes, the answer is yes, I do get them. Sometimes I get them for free in exchange for some sort of review. But I'm here to tell you that uh, a lot of the reviews that you see on Amazon, potentially on YouTube, that are really too good to be true, typically are too good to be true. I have one thing about my reviews. I always talk about things honestly, and I divulge real information about the products. I think with the length of my reviews, you can kind of tell that um, I go deep into detail. So I give you the complete honest truth, and I typically don't do reviews until after I've tried the product for a long period of time. All right. So one other thing that may not surprise you is that um, I, I just got influenced by this uh, uh, BuzzFeed news article about a Amazon reviewer. And, and you know, I'll have a link down to this article over here. It says that her Amazon purchases are real, but the reviews are fake. Okay, so this is a great article. You should read it. I agree with this 100%. And this is by uh, Nicole Nguyen. So I have a link down below, you should check it out. But the gist of it is, is that there are a lot of fake Amazon show reviews out there, uh, particularly the ones that are five stars. These are the ones where um, it, the gist of it is that a person basically signs up to be a review of a product, and in exchange, they get this item completely for free for a five-star review. Okay, so basically five, one to five stars, five stars being it is an amazing product, um, and a lot of the stipulations about getting the product for free is that it has to be five star review. And, um, and basically they got to take some pictures of it. Okay. So you'll find a lot of these, uh, on Amazon. And this is the reason why you can't trust a lot of the average review ratings. You really have to dig deep in there or find a reviewer that you trust. For me personally, I, um, here's my Amazon review profile right over here. I haven't done a whole lot of these. I used to do some of these professionally and uh, and get paid. Now I just do this on my own whenever I have some time. And you'll find that for the most part, um, the reviews, when you take a look at them, look at the ones that are critical about the product, maybe not overly critical, but they don't give them full on five star reviews. Those are the ones that you probably want to trust a bit more than the other ones. And again, the reason is because a lot of the sellers that do this advertising by giving you the product for free um, require that you give them five stars. According to the BuzzFeed article down at the bottom saying that a difference of one star increases their sales multiple fold. So um, I think 26% increase in sales just from jumping up one star on a review level. And here's the way it works. Basically, they contact you. And in my case, because I do a lot of my uh, reviews on Amazon. They find out about me through Amazon. They find my contact information, which is not that hard to find. You can just click on my about uh, page and um, I'll have an email address on there or some other way to contact me. And they'll basically send an email saying, hey, uh, I like your review about this. Um, I think we'd be a good fit. Would you be interested in getting a product for free in exchange for a review? Okay. Sometimes they will give you a little bit more details. A lot of times I feel like it's, it's kind of a waste of time. I get a lot of, a lot of these, uh, type of spams. Here's an example of one that I get all the time. And basically they write something very genetic, generic about how they, they love your channel and the reviews you create and that in exchange. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not saying that this is one of them. I'm saying that they're very typical like this. So this is the way that works. They contact you and they they say okay well um here here's the products we will paypal you money either before or after you agree to review their product and then this way you purchase it through their account i mean, through your own account so it looks more legit and then what happens when you do that it'll say uh, next to review that it is a verified purchase see it'll say this right here okay so it gives it a little bit more authenticity to it and then um, after you post a review, uh, you're supposed to give them a link to your review. And, um, you know, they will confirm that you did give them a five-star review regardless or posted a review uh, based on their requirements. Okay, so you, you have to fit under their requirements in order for them to give you all the credit and the, and the funding. All right. So 
that's you know just the way this works and, and so for in exchange for this you basically have access to all these free products now there are actually websites out there and and in the article they mention a couple of these other services uh, that kind of broker these deals between the sellers and manufacturers of these products who are typically from China and so they speak Chinese um, and they just want to get their products in in front of you right we all know search engines mean a lot and for having those extra star reviews it means that these products are going to be recommended by Amazon or they're going to be uh, Amazon bestsellers and that that just helps boost up the sales that much more so it makes sense for them to give away a lot of these these types of products okay so just in interest of full disclosure I am an Amazon affiliate and uh, I do review products and I put them on here and I talk about them as you can see on some of these um, you know I, I purchase these things myself and I you know if I really don't like it I obviously mention it and I don't get these for free I actually just purchase them on Amazon if it doesn't work out I send them back and you know sometimes a manufacturer will send me uh, a, a product for review completely free and I can say whatever the heck I want about it basically they don't review anything uh, that I uh, are am going to post so it comes out completely unfiltered most of my videos are that way and those I accept all right sometimes the product is so bad that I don't even bother talking about it because why give more attention to something I'm never going to recommend anyway unless I think that someone else is going to fall for it um, on Amazon in those cases you know I, I, do, I don't bother even talking about the product so I, I have a bunch of those I have like a stack of those sometimes I just give them away throw them away recycle those products and uh, maybe it might work for some users but it certainly didn't work for me so th there would be a case like that so um, here's an example of something that I got really cheaply and this would be uh, and, and contrast this with something uh, that I actually did receive and I, 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 of course I got before and I got for free just in exchange for a video review. That's all they requested. I didn't have to give it five stars or anything like that. And that company is in here somewhere. It's BenQ. Okay, and I agreed to do that one because it's something that I've already used already. This was just a new product and I like it a lot. Uh, unfortunately, I've got 41 views because this is not a product that you go out looking for. This is something that's really nice to have. But once you get it, it's just pretty awesome. I mean, I, I use it wherever I go. Um, so this, this is an example of something where uh, they sent me the product for free. I disclosed that, that I got uh, the product for free. So he provided a, a sample for review and I posted it. And true to word, uh, no matter what I did on a video, it didn't really matter as long as I followed through with that and posted a review. Um, those were good so these are these are much better companies to work with I feel okay so I don't get a lot of those so I'm, I'm just letting you know just be careful out there when you're shopping this holiday season on Amazon and I am an Amazon affiliate again so I, I definitely review uh, a lot of other products and sometimes I get them for really really cheap because they do want your stuff uh, their stuff to be out there and reviewed anyway here's the article let me know if you have any other comments on here. And for me, I feel like there's something really morally wrong uh, for a person to accept this uh, and then give it a five-star review when they really hate it or they think it might be dangerous. And yeah, that's something that I'm definitely against. So I guess that's the purpose of, of why I wanted to mention this because people fall for this all the time all the time so just do a little bit more research when you're purchasing something uh, consumer reports obviously is a really great place to go ahead and check in some cases the wire cutter is also a popular place and they have some pretty good reviews in there not necessarily uh, not necessarily the best reviews but it's a really great starting point. So you should check this out. Subscribe to Consumer Reports. Uh, none of them are, of course, sponsors on, on this video or my site or anything. They're just sites that I typically go to use. Uh, I, I do also get some questions about certain sites who help to spot fake reviews. And even those get purchased out by some companies in order to push their own uh, propaganda and their own products. So you also can't necessarily trust those either. It's very difficult to tell.
who to trust. All right, that's it for this video. Happy holidays, happy Black Friday shopping. There's some really great deals. With that in mind, I'm just gonna give a little push for my site here where I post some of the best deals that I have personally seen. And it is just right here on my site at mike.moo. Check it out. Um, good stuff on there that I see from time to time. I, I don't go all crazy on it. Uh, but if I see something that is pretty good, pretty useful that I personally recommend tried or tested or know of, um, it'll be right here. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Give this like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.